yourself. This morning I want to simply talk about the blood still works. Oh, man, man. The blood still works. The blood still works. The blood still works. Man. Amen. Amen. So as you're standing to your feet, please turn to Mark, the fifth chapter. Amen. Verses 21 through 43. St. Mark. St. Mark. The fifth chapter. Fifth chapter. Verses 21 through 43. St. Mark. St. Mark. Man. The fifth chapter. The fifth chapter. When you have a say, man. Say man. Verse 21. St. Mark, fifth chapter. Verse 21. Amen. Everybody ready? Amen. Everybody read it with me. Verse 21 through 25. And when Jesus was passed over again by ship unto the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was come into the sea. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet and besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. And Jesus went with him, and much people followed him and thronged him. And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood twelve years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. When she, when she had she, heard of Jairus, of Jesus, uh -huh. come in, and she came in and she pressed behind and touched his garment. My love. 28, for she said, if I may touch Hush. but his, his clothes, clothes, I shall be whole. Be whole. 29, and straightway the, the fountain of, of her blood was dried up, up. Man. and she, she felt in, in her body, body that, that she was healed of that, that plague. Amen. 30. And, and Jesus, Jesus immediately knowing in himself, himself that the virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? 31. And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and said, Thou who touched me? 32. And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, but the woman fearing and, and trembling, trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said to her, Daughter, thy faith have made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. Okay, we're going to stop right there, but like I said, we, you guys read all the way to 43. You may be seated Amen. in the house of the Lord. Heavenly Father, we come to you as humble as we know how God. We realize and we recognize thank that you are God. Yeah. And beside thee there is God. Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you've like already you. gotten the glory, Heavenly Father. We thank you that you have come and you've entered in, oh God. And you have inhabited the praises of your people. Thank you. Oh God, now speak a word in me and through me, Heavenly Touch Father. Up. Just as you've given it to me, Heavenly Father. Let your people, O oh God, be receivers, O oh God. Not only just hearers, but doers of your holy way, your holy word. And we'll be careful to give your name all glory all and good. honor. These and many other blessings we pray in Jesus' name. Jesus. And for his sake. Amen. Amen. And bless God. Amen. We want to talk about something that's very familiar to you guys. And I know you've heard the, the story, amen, before. But we're just connecting the dots this morning, and again, saying it in a different way that as the Spirit of God has given it to me. Amen? Amen. We do want to stay in the flow of the Spirit as He leads, guides, and directs our path, but also the words that are going forth to refresh us, amen? amen, to change us with much demonstration. This is what the Word of God is for, amen, amen. so that it is demonstrated amen. in us and through us as it impacts not only our hearing, but as well as our doing but that God uses it 
through you and I, amen, amen. to transform others through his manifest glory. Do you yes. agree? Amen. 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 Church, I don't know about you, but time is definitely winding. Yes, up. yes. Amen. And it doesn't take very far to see this is, is happening. Amen. Amen. It's time to really stop playing church. Amen. 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 It really is. Every door that stands adjourned, the, the decreeing and declaring that God is, is God, and he's God all by himself, all to be on their knees right now, right now. praying and, and, and laying prostrate at the altar. God never leaves us nor forsake us, as Amen. we well know, who says this in his word. He wants us to be whole. Yes. He wants us to be healed. Yes. God wants men and women who are tired of being just sick and tired of going nowhere. No no no. God also wants men and women, amen, oh. who are broken. God wants men and women who are looking for love in all the yes. wrong places. Well, well. God wants this morning, he's looking for women, amen, that have extra husbands. Uh, God is looking for men today who have extra wives. Yes, that's what I said. God wants us for himself. Yes, God yeah. wants women and men who are deviling in witchcraft on today. All right, it's in yeah. there. God wants men, hallelujah, and women that needs to be whole yes. and healed. Amen. 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 There's some things that are going on that is taking place in this world today that so easily tries to beset us against the will of God. Amen. amen. Yes. And I didn't write this. It's in the Word it's of the word. God. Amen. Amen. Look it up. So I want to tell you about this story that's found in Mark, the fifth chapter, verses 21 through 43. It's a tale of two women. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? The older woman has this issue of blood yes. that she's had for 12 long years. Yes. And women, I don't know about you, but it's hard enough just Going on that way for three days oh, and or seven days and or ten days or whatever your case and your issue may have been well, but for 12 long years my God. 12 long my Lord, years she's God. a familiar image amen but she's also dying from this infirmity which none of the professionals of her day have possessed the ability to help her with. Yeah. Amen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She is, in essence, a woman who have sought help here oh. and there oh. and have been unable to find it. So now for 12 long years, according to the writer, Mark, she has been hemorrhaging mm. with this flow mm. of blood mm. for 12 years. Mm. We're talking about the blood still works. All right. yeah. The second woman we have here is a little girl. She's a young woman in the flowering of her youth right. and she is ill from an undisclosed illness right. the bible doesn't tell us what she's oh, sick with oh, oh, oh. the bible doesn't tell us what her malady is mm. the right. bible doesn't tell us what her malfunction or what her disease is well, all yeah. we know of her is that she's in the flowering of her youth oh. and at this point of her life she's at the point of death and she too Mm. Is dying. Lord, in essence, her sickness is insignificant. For the fact of the matter is, if she does not get help, she will die. Well, and her father, Jairus, knows it. Right. She is ill with an undisclosed illness, which, if not healed, oh. her life will be cut off from the possibilities. Amen. And right, without right. help, she will. Die. My God. Now I found interesting here that when I read this passage of, of scripture, and it doesn't fail every time I read it, God gives a new revelation Won't and insight it? to it that goes beyond this letter of the word of God and this story. Amen. There's a revelation of the spirit of God. And I want each of us in here today to understand, and I'm going to keep rehearsing it in your hearing again and again, that every story in the word of God both has an actual uh -huh. and a spiritual significance. Yes, this is a literal story. Yes, it is. It actually happened. Yes, Amen? Amen? This woman with an issue of blood, and there was a literal story of this little girl who was about to die, and there was a ruler, for real, of the synagogue. Today we call right, them right. pastors and preachers of the church. Uh -huh. In that day, they were called rulers and leaders in the of the synagogue right, right. by the name of Jairus, 
which was seeking help on behalf of his little daughter. Yes. But there is also another level of spiritual insight and truth to the story which you must go, understand. Go. It is more than a coincidence and it is very significant that this woman has been sick My for 12 God. long well, years. And this little girl is 12 years of age. My to the casual observer and skimmer of the scriptures, you would by just bypass that. You oh. would just repass it, amen? Mm -hmm. Until the Spirit of the Lord helps connect those dots and not see its significance. Mm. But I'd like to submit to each of you today that there is a metaphorical as well as an allegorical right. and a spiritual significance, right. amen, That's to right. this beyond the actual happening. Come on. And there is something that the Holy Ghost is saying. Come on, come on. Twelve, twelve is the number of foundations. Talk, talk. Amen? Amen. Amen. And twelve uh -huh. numbers are very significant in the Word of God. Twelve is also the number of spiritual government. All right. And we can just stop right there and just look back on just what happened on this week My to all of the, <laughs> to the folk ex presidents. Amen. Right. President. And Mrs. Clinton, right. President and Mrs. Obama, yeah, right. yeah, and yeah, yeah. we know the list goes on. Mm -hmm. Maxine Water, yeah. and right. on and on. So twelve is the number of spiritual government. So don't you dare doubt today that the government is not still on his shoulders mm -hmm. because right, he right, is, right. and he is still in charge. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. 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 at the White House, yeah. at the yeah. Owl House, at yeah. the Black yeah. House, yeah. it doesn't yeah. matter. Twelve is the number of the spiritual government here. In the scripture, the church is always, always pictured as a woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on now. Amen. Play that. Play that. Mm -hmm. I didn't Amen. write that, and it's I'm not there. making that up. It's in there. Amen? It's in the word of God. She is the bride of Christ. That's right. She is the woman adorned in the book of Revelation. But the false church is the whore of Babylon right. uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. in the book of mm -hmm. Revelation. Call, call. The church is always attributed and addressed in the specificity uh -huh. of the female gender. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So what we have here is two women, one who is about to die from the hemorrhaging right, of her right. foundations, and the other who is in the flowering Flower. of her life is about to be cut off premature. This is a picture mm. of the church today. Yes, and yes. there is a significance here. The older woman is the church that is built on generational foundations oh. that's losing her life. So and good. the life of the flesh is in the blood. Oh, oh. But the fact of the matter is that this woman has been losing blood oh. for 12 years wow. speaks to the fact that the foundation of this old generational house is losing its yeah. vitality. Oh, it's around, losing its life. It's yeah. losing yeah. its strength. Yeah. And there is this little girl, 12 years old, and she's dying from an unknown, unknown. illness. She's losing her life at the hand of unknown forces. Yes. And without strengthening right. of her foundation, she will die. I like that. I submit to you wow. today that there is a picture of a generational transfer generational in the transfer. body of Christ. Mm -hmm. There is a picture here of a church in her generation mm -hmm. that has lost its life, oh. that has lost its vitality, well. that has lost and without healing will die yes, sick. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Help us today. Help me, Holy Spirit. Wow. And there is a revelation of a youthful, young church uh -huh. that is arising to her flowering of age right, right. to come and possess her place in the kingdom. All right now. But she's sick. And without healing, she will die. Interestingly enough, the church from its inception. Come on now. Has flourished in the strength of its mothers right. and of its daughters. Right. And yeah. Can I get a witness, somebody? Yeah. Come, on now. Come, on. Come on. There is both a spiritual and a natural here. Yeah. That's right. The women of the church and the fact that we are 
everything male in our gender yeah. is a revelation concerning the flowering and the strength of the church. Right. If you look at the history of church from its inception, it has always flourished and always uh -huh. will on the strength of women. That's right. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. Now, I do absolutely believe in man, the male headship. Amen. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. I believe in male headship in the body of Christ. Right. But I also believe in women leadership. And the Bible is clear, hallelujah, that when women have taken their place, trusting in the Lord, and have been strong in the work of the Lord, amen, and in the power of his might, the church moves forward and strength. So as he's passing. 
seen Bob. Uh, yeah. She yeah. barely Come on. touched it. Yeah. She didn't, the Bible doesn't say she grabbed it. The yeah, Bible yeah, says yeah, she yeah, pulled yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bible says she touched yes, Lord. as he yes, was passing Lord. by, right. carrying yes, him Lord. of Lord. his garment. Ooh, there are specific Jesus. challenges that the women of this era are facing for which the Holy Ghost is ministering That's right. specific answers. And that needs to be embraced, that needs to be received, yes. and it needs to be heard. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The women of today are facing challenges that women 50 years ago, women 70 years ago, women 80 years ago have never ever imagined Woo! would be Come like on. this. And there is a generational answer. Right. God would be unjust to allow the problems to arise in this generation and not send an answer. Amen? Come on. Come on. There is such complexity. Good God. There is such distress. Yes. There are such hurts yes. in the hearts and the minds of men and women right, right. in this generation. Yeah. On part because of some silly women and some silly men. Yeah, right, right. Right. The foolishness of men and the breakdown of families. Oh. But I want you to know that there is an answer. Yes. And that name is Jesus. Yeah. Look at this little girl. This little girl is the daughter of Jairus. Remember, uh -huh. he's the pastor preacher of that day, My of Lord. the synagogue, who initiates the healing of both women, All right. who is at the end of her own life. So what does this mean? Well, first of all, she's the daughter of the ruler of the synagogue, and she's dying in the ruler's house. My mm -hmm. God. Jairus represents the religious system of that day. Mm -hmm. Amen? He represents the religious order, order. of that day. Yes. And his daughter is 12 years old and she is dying in the house of this religious leader. This is saying that the religion of the day, hallelujah, in that day was impotent uh -oh. to minister to the need of the daughters of this generation. Uh -huh. Religion cannot do it. That's right. Right. Systems cannot do cannot it. Do it. Uh -huh. Organizations Cannot do it. Right. It's going to take a mighty move of the Spirit of God, uh -huh. and it's going to take men and women yes. who will open up their hearts and their yes. minds to the yes. Holy Spirit. Holy yes. Spirit. And the answer that God has given in this generation. That's right. Yeah, yeah. This is why there are so many sick sons and daughters yes. in church. Because yes. they come to religion. Uh -huh. They come to organization. Right. Yes. They've come to church where the preacher sometimes preaches. Uh, three points and a poem, and some of them even rap. All right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with it. The choir sings a hymn, and they go up just like they came in. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. Amen. No influx, no indwelling uh -huh. of the Spirit, no baptism yeah, yeah. of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. There's no deliverance, uh -huh. and there's no organisms, uh -huh. and there's no ministering life to them, and there is a sickness that is happening in our sons and daughters of religion. Right. The fact of the matter is that the father himself that birthed them is dissatisfied um, himself. Right. And that's why Jairus is out looking for Jesus because he knows that he does not have within his house right. the answer to yeah. this generation. All right, now. Yeah. She is the daughter of religion. All right. She is sick. She's distressed. She's well. dying daughter of church. Yeah. She's been to church and in church all her life. She's been to Sunday school sometimes. Right. Sometimes she went to BTU. You didn't right. have no choice back in the day. You went when mama dropped you off. You was going, baby, going. all yes. the day. She's been to BYWW. I That's know right. none of y'all don't remember any of these things. Oh, yeah. She used to be in Young Matrons. I know y'all don't know nothing about that right here. All right. She's been to seminars. She's been to conferences. But she is still dying. Wow. She's been to prayer breakfasts. She's been to Bible studies. Oh. She's brought all the best books. She's brought all of their tapes. Yeah. She's brought yeah. everything she could. But yet, she is still dying because it's not in any of those things. She doesn't even know what's killing her. She can't explain why she gets so angry at things that shouldn't even upset her. Her emotions are out of kilter. And the fact of the matter that her life is so full and of so many disappointments at the hand of people who she thought she could trust. She's been rejected. She's been deceived. Yes. Her emotions are abused. Right. Her heart has been wounded. Yeah. She's looking for love in all the wrong, wrong places. places. And there is there anybody who can love her? And
and love her hurt and her wound Woo! and minister come on, come on, to come on. her danger. Yes. Come on. And all she's found, unfortunately, in the eyes of most men, My God. are jokesters, huh. posters, playboys, uh -huh. pimps, uh -huh. extraordinaire, right, right, right. and all uh -huh. of that. Yeah, yeah. Who's on. only looking for yeah. an ornament, a uh -huh. man right, to right, wear right. on his arm. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Yeah. And what he can get. And not interested in the realness oh, oh, yeah. of her life. Come on, the realness. Yeah, the realness of her life. Uh, Men, and you got my permission today, go run and tell that. Uh, out there to them brothers that are out there that are watching, that are listening. Again, God is looking for some real men in this time, in this, in this season, amen, right, to stand up, amen, and be men, amen, in this healing hour. The Bible says she's dying in the shadow Ooh. of an absentee father. Jairus is not even there when she takes her last breath and die. He's not there because he's out looking for help himself. Right, right, right. He's looking for something for his own dissatisfaction. Oh. Jairus couldn't find answers in his religion. Right. He couldn't find it at his vocation. Amen. Amen. So he's out doing strange and crazy things trying to fill the void in his own life. Oh Jairus is out there looking for an answer and looking for hope or something to satisfy yeah. or bring him yeah. peace. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's where so many of our men are because religion, religion. has been impotent. Uh, to minister to them and to and have been impotent to satisfy the answers to the craving yeah. of their hearts as well. Ooh, come on. And it's tough, oh. yes. It is tough. Yeah, but yeah. again, God has the answer. Yes, Amen? Yeah. And it's tough enough being a man in the in our culture. But yeah. men, when you have the responsibility of family, of wife, of right. children, right. sir. And I'm speaking to each of us in here. There's some mothers in here that are fathers as well. Amen. If you don't get some help, you are going to buckle right. under uh -huh. the pressure we're living in today. Yes. In this day of great distress oh, and right. perplexity. Jesus right. said in the last days, in these last and evil days, yes. in these perilous times, because we are living in them now. Yes. Amen. Oh. He, amen, will come and pour out his spirit. Amen. Yes on all flesh, all flesh, on his sons and daughters. Amen? That's good news. Yes. Well. Hallelujah. We have a difference. We have had difficulty times being what he needs to be in that family and to those women, right, right. but especially to those daughters. Yeah. Jairus right. himself is dissatisfied with the impotence of his religion impotence. and the emptiness of his lifestyle and yes. the void that has been produced by his vocation. Uh. It is very uh, much negativity that's going on when Jairus went out to look for Jesus. All Amen? Right. In his house. Oh. In his house. Had a lot of noise. Had, they act like they was having a party and his little daughter has just died. Amen? Man. But Jesus, he asked him to come. He was already on his way. Amen? Man. But he, someone touched the hem of his garment and he asked, who touched me? Huh. Who? Talk, talk. Yeah. He knew somebody, yeah, somebody. Had, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. because the yeah. very virtue uh -huh. went, out, went out, amen, of uh -huh. his spirit, yeah. Yeah. amen. Yeah. So when Jesus got to the house, the Bible says that there was weeping All and right. wailing yeah, yeah. and lamenting. They right. were pouring out of themselves. There That's was right. also discord. There was also distress. Yes. There was also sorrow, yes. confusion, right, and feelings right. of abandonment, emotional scars, yes. but, and didn't intimidate Jesus. We yeah. have a good yeah, God. Yeah. Absolutely nothing can break him. Absolutely yeah. nothing can make him fall to the left right, right. or to the yeah. right. When we call out to him, he's there. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Faster than immediately. Yeah. Sooner than right, right now. But it didn't intimidate him. Because when Jesus got there, all he did was put him out. He Come put him out. Man. Everybody that was up in there lamenting. Everybody that was up in there crying. And sometimes you have to do that. Put him out. out. Amen. Amen. In order that they might live. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus took and put all of them out. He took the little girl by, by her hand and said, daughter, arise. Get up yes. out of this. And the Bible yes. says, yes. when she heard the word, immediately, immediately. she lived. Do it. Immediately, Man. she lived. Yes. People of God, 
Jesus is stretching out his nail-scarred hand yes, yes, in your yes, situation yes. and in your circumstance. Yeah. Whatever they might be right now, when you trust in the Lord with all of your heart, all of your might, all yes. of your soul, yes. you don't look like what you've been Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, yes. Jesus. And that's because the blood Lord. still works. Amen. The blood still works. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, the blood is still working. You don't have to go very far. Amen. Right, right, right. All you have to do is just look up Come on. and Come on, see God. When you yes. trust in the Lord with your whole heart, you become more than a conqueror. Yes. When you yes. trust in the Lord with all of your heart, greater is he that's within you yeah. than he that is in the world. Oh, when Talk you about trust it. in about the it. Lord with all of your might right. and lean not unto your own all understanding. understanding. When you trust in the Lord yeah. with all thine heart, yeah. he never leaves no, nor forsakes, forsakes us. Yeah. When you trust in the Lord with all of your heart, oh. you don't know like I know what the Lord has oh. done yes. Yes. and what he's absolutely oh. yes. capable of doing. Can I get a witness? Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Him and he does direct our thoughts, yes. our hearts, and our minds. Yes. Because the blood still yes. works. Blood in all works. of our ways, acknowledge him. Hallelujah. He will, he will direct, direct your path from yes. the pulling down of every stronghold. Yes. Hallelujah. In all of your ways, acknowledge him. Yes. He will direct your path yes. from intimidation, Come from unbelief, on. from doubt, from yes. fear. When yes. you trust in the Lord yes. with all of your heart, you lean not unto lean your not. own yes. understanding. Yes. Everything by prayer, by petition, yes. hallelujah, and with thanksgiving. Yes. When you trust yes. in the Lord with all trust of your Lord. ways and knowing that the blood is still working, he does direct your path. Yeah. I will trust I will in trust the Lord, hallelujah, yeah, hallelujah. I will, I will. acknowledge him. Whatever the devil meant for evil, God, God has already God. turned it around. Yeah. 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 Yeah.